fuck? Hi, friends. Thanks for joining uh, joining me here today. I'm doing a little show called Cooking with Quentin. And uh, today is our New Year's Day special. And we're doing a little uh, down south cooking show. It's going to be some uh, some Cajun flair. Got some boudin balls. Who doesn't like balls in their mouth, you know what I'm saying? We got some chicken and sausage gumbo. And some boudin links. Even a little bit of gator. Uh, also, we got some uh, gator coming, cooking over here in our toaster oven, making some some brown gravy. Uh, we're gonna put some, put that over off some Cornish hens. It's gonna be awesome. And of course, we do have some cheese, ground turkey. What do they call that stuff? Who even knows? But it's great. Everybody loves it. And we're gonna eat some of that today. I'm probably gonna eat the whole thing myself. You know, it's really good. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here with the balls. We always want to get started with the balls first because they take longer to cook, you see. Oh, okay. Now these are called boudin balls. Boudin, as none of you probably know, um, it, uh, I don't know if you can see that there. I, I made these fresh uh, just this morning. Um, boudin is a sort of like a, like a Cajun sausage or like a rice and meat kind of uh, Thing. It comes in link form, as you can see, or it comes in ball form. So, either way, you'll love it. I know the ladies do back home, and we're going to have some of that today. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is uh, get some vegetable oil. I'm going to throw this down in the, in the pot. One second here. Okay, uh, you know, on second thought, I think we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and cook this in the sink here, uh, just so I can be closer to the camera. And also, if there's any spillage or anything like that, then it would all go into the uh, metal fireproof sink that we've set up just for the show. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Now, when I was cooking up some gumbo and some uh, jambalaya last night, I left a lot of dishes here. Uh, normally. I would have my wife clean this up because that's what wives are for. Um, but I don't have a wife currently, so I'm just going to have to do that later at some point. Uh, we'll just switch this out right here. And here we go. Now, go ahead and plug this in. I don't know if you've noticed, uh, these appliances nowadays have gotten a little bit, a little bit tricky, a little bit nifty, you know. So some people they really like it and some people like me, not so much. But see normally you would plug this in, it doesn't seem like it wants to go. That's it, friend. It's plugged in. It's just there. You just set it on there and you're good to go. Okay. So now plug that in. This thing gets hot on its own. There's no uh, selector switch here, it just gets hot like a like a woman when I leave her house. Uh, so anyway, we'll go ahead and throw the balls in there. I don't know if you can see here, but I'm going to toss the balls right into the hot spot. Just like so. You might be thinking, I know what you're thinking to yourself right now, you're thinking, Quinn, that looks great and all, but why are you wearing that Tennessee shirt? Cooking that Cajun food. Well, I'm going to tell you, son. Fellas, you don't play for another week. Tennessee played today. I'm a good, big Tennessee fan as well as LSU. Uh, so I'm supporting uh, Tennessee today. Next week I'll be wearing LSU. We might even do another cooking show then. Okay. So, always want to throw your crap away. Now you can hear it starting to fry. Not a good thing. What we're going to do is pour a little oil. You always want to put the oil on top of the balls, like so. Now, for you people that have cooked before, you probably know you put the oil in first and then let it heat up as the pot heats up. I don't do much cooking, so I just wing it as I go, as you can see. Now, we're going to go ahead and pour some more oil in there until we have way too much. We hope it saturates those balls real good so we get real good and fat when we eat them. 
like all the women in the South. So anyway, uh, let's see here. What have we got? I'm going to let that set for a minute. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and get the chicken and sausage gumbo started. I have pre-mixed all the ingredients together already uh, to make it easier um, in this old bucket I've used before. I, I just use it a lot to throw things in. I know it says chicken and sausage gumbo on the outside. Don't let that deter you. Um, let's see. I'm going to need a pot. Let me see what we have in this house. Not much, friends. Uh, okay. This one might work. Got to make sure it's the right pot for the right occasion. A lot of you know what I'm talking about, Ford Winnie, you know what I'm Okay. All right. We're going to just toss this in there like so. Okay. Um, as you can see, it's almost good and ready to eat. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to put a little fire on it, get it heated up, and uh, see what happens. This right here is called a stove. Um, we'll select our knobs up here and we use this to put the heat on. It's not like in you know, the swamp where you build a fire and put the pot over. It's a little bit different. So, I'm going to put that on about five and let that simmer. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and throw these boudin links in a pot as well. You just want to boil them in some water. And we got another pot here. Sure hope I get married soon. Because I'm not going to like washing all these dishes myself. So any ladies out there, if you're already liking what you're seeing and love the words that are coming out of my mouth, I am single, probably will be for a long time, so go ahead and give me a call. <laughs> ladies, I don't know if you can see what's going on here, but these balls are getting really hot. I can tell. You're probably feeling the way I'm feeling. Your mouth starts watering a little bit. And you're thinking, I really want to put some of them balls in my mouth. Well, they're not done yet. You've got to, got to wait a little bit. But they're doing pretty good. It's getting a little bubbly. And uh, looking pretty good. Smelling real good, too. I know you can't smell this at home, but it smells like balls. That's what it smells like. So. Um, we got the, the water in the pot. Now we're going to go ahead and throw some of these links in there. Yeah. You probably never had four sausages at once. But uh, I have, and it's really good. Okay, we've got a little too much water in there. We've got to make sure it's just the right amount. And then we'll throw that on some oil. Five and that ought to work. Balls are coming along great. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up so I can reuse it again. You never know what you might need a used plastic bucket for. So you can put change in this. You come home from a, from a long day's work and you got some change in your pocket, you just throw it in the bucket and you keep building it up till you get enough. And then you could take it down like to uh, you know, the grocery store and they got coin star now. You just throw it all in there and you get like ten ten dollars back. Money you didn't even know you was gonna have, you know. Normally you'd just toss to the side, throw it on the coffee table, the kids would get it and run around and choke on it, you'd go to the hospital and now you gotta pay a doctor bill. Look, you ain't got to worry about that no more. You put it in the plastic bucket, it's even got a lid, the kids don't even know what's in there. Hide it under your bed or something, you know? <sighs> or you can Say you go over to a friend's house and your friend has your favorite kind of Doritos or Cheetos or something and he goes to the bathroom, you throw some of that in your bucket and then you just leave it by the door by your shoes. You take it when you go and they don't even know. They don't even know you took anything. You gotta be resourceful. Always be resourceful. Okay. Now, get all the sausage juice off of there and we'll throw this away. 